Hello everyone, welcome to Skillbell Tutorials. This is Arun here with LifeRay 6.2 plugin development tutorials continuation. So as I promised, I'm done with my um, LifeRay portal setup and uh, I'm back with that. So what is happening is now a setup, uh, portal setup wizard.properties uh, file is got created in this particular location and um, as I shown you earlier, there is a lot of uh, tables got created um, uh, for my uh, life rate to uh, database and you could see some of the uh, uh, tables <coughs> okay most probably the user table will have some data so if you see there is two uh, data some one is for guest and one is the uh, test user which I have uh, created and what is going to be inside this uh, portal setup wizard dot properties uh, is what we need to look into so if we um, uh, take portal uh, setup wizard dot properties you will be seeing um, the configurations of the default configurations whatever you have uh, done including the um, database um, configuration so uh, let me open up this okay so you can see the admin uh, uh, email that is um, with an admin email uh, from address uh, uh, property test at lifery.com and the test and test as the name then a mysql driver is added the class name mysql driver is added then the lifery user is the uh, user password uh, of the mysql database and the mysql database uh, configuration uh, that is with uh, associated with lifery uh, is created and lifery user uh, um, username is lifery user that i have given that is also created and um, a lifery home is also set up there with the uh, exact um, disk label I, I have given the, my directly uh, directory label as e colon then e colon lr 6.2 and lifery 6. Point, uh, lifery portal 6.2 core ga4 is uh, created for that and now uh, the setup wizard enabled is false and that is uh, because you will not see the setup wizard is nothing but the first screen you have um, uh, you saw that uh, in the beginning of life reporter so now that is getting false because uh, you don't need to uh, see that anymore Uh, now in my user interface I am seeing this information and uh, um, it is asking me whether I want to go to the uh, portal so I just want to go to my portal let's just click on go to my portal so it will uh, redirect me to my um, um, life ray uh, portal so it's taking some time again to uh, go to the portal Yes, now it's loading my uh, terms of use uh, of the Skillbell tutorial uh, tutorials uh, portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on I agree, and then a new password. I'm just going to give the default passwords where I use. So I'm going to select a library card number one, two, three, four, five. Whenever I do some development at my local, I use this one, two, three, four, five just for a uh, uh, unique remembering stuff. I just used my library card number and I hold this one, two, three, four, five as my library number. Hope you understand why I did that. okay now i am in my portal and um okay so now i i will be able to um start develop um for uh this uh portal so um i i i would um i i would probably um um pause this video once again and uh, start fresh with the uh, development tutorial on my first uh, portal at development so i'm going to save this uh, video here hope this would be helpful for all of you are watching this videos um, on life ray tutorials from skill bell and um, what i would recommend is uh, subscribe the channel uh, for more um, new videos uh, to get 
into your uh, mailbox um, at the earliest and i'll be continuously posting more life ray video tutorials uh, here in this uh, skill bell tutorials channel and i'm not only planning to post um, life ray tutorials i'm um, going to come up with some interesting uh, different technology tutorials as well here and thank you for watching once again please don't forget to subscribe subscribe to skill bell tutorials channel